If you're creating a highlight video of your kid doing his or her thing on any field of play, this is the simplest way to get it done. When you're done watching this video, you'll be creating your own professional highlights using PowerDirector 365. I have a clip of some guys playing soccer on track one. So I'm going to pause this. I'm going to move the playhead back to the beginning because that's where you want it to do this effect. Now, I want to add a spotlight over the guy that has the ball. So you want to go to effects. Then you want to go to video effects. And you want to go to haze. Here you want to find the spotlight effect. Hold down your left mouse button over this effect and then drag it down to the clip and let go of your left mouse button. Now you want to go to the customize the effect icon. And here you want to select the circle mask. Once it pops up, you want to use these nodes to place it right over the individual that you want to spotlight. So just place your cursor over a node until you see a line and two arrows, hold down your left mouse button and resize it. Then if you want to drag it to somewhere, just place it over until you see crosshairs, hold down your left mouse button and drag it to where you want it and make any adjustments as you want at this point. Now we need some artificial intelligence to help us get this done. But before we do that, I need your human intelligence to help me out by clicking the like button, subscribing to Power Director University, and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials and live streams. So let's use AI to get to tracking. We want to click on this box here that says apply motion tracking. Now an instruction box pops up telling you step one, do the yellow box, step two, hit start tracking. I'm gonna show you all of that. So you don't need to do any reading, just click on okay. So you wanna adjust the yellow box, place your cursor over any one of the nodes until you see a line of two arrows, hold down your left mouse button and drag it to where you want it. Now you might have a different size than I'm selecting for my effect, you may need to change it up, do whatever, but just keep in mind, it's all gonna be specific to the person you're spotlighting and you know the size of them, all of that stuff. So next we wanna come over here and we want to select adjust size with tracked object. So that if the person gets further away or whatever, the size of the spotlight changes relative to that individual. Now, if you wanna know more about the settings, check out my track and blur moving objects tutorial. Next, we wanna go ahead and click on track. Now that it's done, you can click on play to see how it looks. And you can see that it is tracking the individual. If you don't like the results, you can try resizing the yellow box and then click on track again and do it over again. So we're gonna close out the effects settings window. If you wanna know how to edit faster without using AI, check out this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and purchase PowerDirector using the links in the video description to help the channel stay alive.